What's going on guys, it's Unnamed Player here and today we're going to be looking at some of the cool new easter eggs and secrets that you'll find in the Festival of the Lost event, like an actual broom a sparrow you can ride on, there's a stick of celery which is quite mysterious, and a previously unobtainable shader which is now actually available to us to actually use and we'll be going through the secret quests and things you have to do to obtain them. So a lot of random things that are added in this and the result is a lot of cool rewards so definitely worth checking out. So let's begin with that new sparrow which is actually pretty simple to obtain but probably not something you'd think to do normally. So you might notice a new addition to the tower and it's actually a brand new sweeper bot or a frame that's in between Eververse and also the Postmaster. So you hear her complain that she's lost her broom and she's actually sweeping with nothing in her hand. So evidently she's lost her broom. If you actually go down to the tower hangar in that kind of basement area, you will find her broom. And instead of a broom, it's actually a sparrow, which is really odd. It's called the Lost Broom, which you can retrieve at the top of these boxes over here. And as simple as that, you've obtained it. There's nothing else you need to do and you can actually ride this as a vehicle. So of course this is a legendary item, but it does actually expire, so this is only going to last for the duration of Festival of Lost being two weeks, so that's a bit unfortunate. You'd think you could maybe give it back to her and then maybe she'd give you like an exotic version that doesn't expire, but it's very strange and definitely up there as one of the best easter eggs that Pungie have added in. It's really cool you can actually ride a broom around any way you want pretty much. I feel like this would be perfect for SRL coming later, it'd be so funny to all be riding on a bunch of broomsticks, but I guess it's going to expire until then, unless there might be some kind of secret way to upgrade it, but for now it just seems to be a really cool easter egg. So the next thing I want to draw your attention to is a secret quest you can actually do around the tower which results in a really cool shader and also a mysterious stick of celery as well. So this is actually began with the box of raisins that you might remember from the last year's Festival Lost event. If you don't have them you're still fine, but if you do it will save you a little bit of moats I guess. It's a really strange process but if you don't have any of the raisins at all if you're a new player, you simply go to Eris and she will give you the normal box of raisins. What you then do is go to the speaker and you can ascend them with 25 motes of light and that gets you the ascendant versions. If you still have yours from last year they'll already be ascended, you don't need to waste any motes of lights on them. But if you want to keep them and still have them around you can actually buy another set of raisins from the speaker for only 10 motes of light, that's what I did. So I've still got my original raisins and the second set I'm actually going to use for the secret quest. So what you need to do is go to Zavala and of course the reason it's a secret is because there's no actual quest icons. There are none of those green or purple notifications above any of the vendors heads so essentially they leave you to figure out for yourself but of course in this video I'll show you guys all the vendors so you don't need to waste time seeing who to trade what with. So firstly you need to go to Zavala and trade the first item with him. Very simple, there's nothing else you need to do or spare materials, just trade the item. They need to go over to the Cryptarch, Master a Hall, and then from there you need to go over to the ship hangar and speak to Amanda Holiday, she's got the next item for you. And then from her you go to Cade, and then the final item you go back over to Eris, and she's going to give you a bag of treats. And this is the final package of course inside this, when you go to inventory and open them up, you're going to be given a piece of celery and also the super black shader. So in terms of the celery, I don't think anyone knows what to do with it. There may be something later down the line or maybe Zer takes it. But so far, it seems like they might be similar to the box of raisins. Maybe we'll keep them until next year's event. Who knows? Till Destiny 2. I have no idea what to do with them. But so far, it seems to be just one of those kind of random, funny kind of Easter egg things you just hold on to. It might have some relevance later down the line, maybe like an April update or the winter event. But for now, it just seems to be a random object you kind of keep in your inventory unless you really want the full space. So looking at the shader, it's called Super Black, and this of course is a very rare item if you don't know. It's been in the game database and the game files since the launch of Destiny, since 2014, but it's always been completely unobtainable, it's been impossible to get. But I guess Bungie finally thought they wanted to introduce it into the loot tables and give us this shader which has been very sought after. And of course, as the name suggests, it makes your armor completely black for that stealthed out look. We had some shaders that kind of came close to that, like Revenant from Dead Orbit, which turns your armor mostly black, but it's got some grey and white bits to it. I think the closest thing we had before was the Old Guard shader, which is a pre-order bonus for the Taken King a year ago, but it's also got these tiger stripes all over it, whereas the Super Black shader is just one clean texture, it's got no pattern to it, and it's probably one of my new favorite shaders for sure. If you go over to the shader kiosk, you'll find it's been added there in the holiday section. And if you haven't done the quest, then you'll notice it isn't there at all. So it's not like there's an actual way to get this. It's actually a secret shader that's only added once you do this kind of weird little quest. So make sure you get this done before Festival Lost ends. You've got two weeks, but make sure you get it done. Because otherwise, you actually miss out on one of the coolest shaders in the game. And it appears there's no other way of obtaining it. Now, while we're here, you can actually see the three other new shaders that are in the game with the Festival of Lost event. These are actually really cool looking. I didn't expect much of them at first. The icons looked pretty boring, but in-game, they're actually really, really awesome looking. The candlelight especially is probably my favorite out of the three. It makes your arm actually glow. And I love the kind of luminescent effects that you have on some of these shaders. They're definitely way better than the normal ones that just change the color. But this is a really awesome looking shader. Definitely one of my favorites for sure. There's also the Unquiet Spirit, which is literally just in your face green. It's the most green thing you'll ever see in Destiny. And it's a bit similar to the Ascendant Plane one. It's just really in your face and very outlandish. 
There's also the Sea of Tears, and this one is a little bit different. This doesn't actually glow, but instead it's actually this really awesome metallic blue kind of shiny texture to it. So all of these shaders look a lot better in-game than I expect them to be. As you can see, they're all earned through different in-game sources. So the Candlelight is earned from Strike Horde Chest, so you might need a few skeleton keys to obtain this one. The Unquiet Spirit is obtained from Crucible Matches, and I'm seeing this drop a lot, so it isn't that rare. And the Sea of Tears, of course, you get from Gifts of the Lost, which you get from Eva, so you need to fill up the bags with candy, and eventually you'll get this shader as well. So the final thing I want to mention is there's actually a new emblem. If you look in the emblem kiosk and go to collection 5 under holiday at the very bottom, you'll see Midnight Hunt. And this is actually only obtained through Trials of Osiris. This will probably just drop the end game loot screen. So after wins, you might have a chance to get this emblem. But I doubt it's going to be like the Scarab or the new cat emblem that you only obtain after wins with a completed Trials passage. I think it's just going to be normal. And I think there's no chance they'll make this drop only from the Lighthouse chest. I think that'd be really cruel. Considering the percentage of people that can go to the Lighthouse, I think this will just be normal game wins. So so expect this emblem to be dropping in trials that the two weekends the festival is active. So there we go, that is a bunch of the new easter eggs and secrets and emblems and shaders you can obtain in Festival or Lost. Comment down below if you've picked up any of the emblems or shaders that are available or that broom as well. As always a like rating on the video would be much appreciated. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.